the hyperkeratotic tissue the edges have to be removed otherwise it will intervene with the proper healing of the epithelium so all the hyperkeratotic borders have to be removed you can use an adsense forceps and a 23 number blade to remove the hyperkeratotic areas so this is how it is done either you can do it under local anesthesia or you can do it like that only because neuropathic ulcers they usually don't have sensations in their wound so a proper debridement plays a very important role in reepithelialization so all these dead and hyperkeratotic tissue will intervene with the proper healing of the wound so after proper debridement you see the initial size is only so much and after proper debridement you can see this much of wound is exposed and the underlying tissues if there are any devitalized tissues or exposed bone or tendon they also have to be noted and you will also have to do a probe test 